is up jammers it is kaylee here and welcome back to another brand new kaylee cools tutorial video so today guys i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make an intro in camtasia studio 9 so i've been using camtasia studio for about two years now um basically when i started youtube and i always loved it it's an awesome recorder editor it's great for pretty much everything. You can do tons of things with it, and I pretty much know how to do everything on it since I've used it for two years. And um, so I was just like, why don't I do an intro tutorial? And also excuse the stupid caps lock thing. I have it on my computer and it drives me insane, but just ignore it. Um, but anyway, um, so I know quite a bit about Camtasia Studio and I was just like, hey, why don't I do an intro tutorial for you guys? and show you guys how to do an intro. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it, guys. Beautiful for a moment, we were roses. We were roses. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is make sure that the project settings up here where this is, excuse the stupid caps lock thing, Lord help me. Um, but just click this up here and then go ahead and go to project settings. Make sure that your dimensions are 1920 by 1080. And um, because this is the most HD it can get. And yeah, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in pretty much any den um, that has a green background. I usually prefer the barn den because it has the best green screen. And you're going to basically green screen your animals. So if you're a non-member, just ask one of your friends or something like that. If you can green screen if they're in their barn den or something like that. And yeah, so make sure you have a barn den or some sort of den that has a green background. Um, I prefer to have the barn den because I think it does the best green screening. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put crop. And also what you do basically is just have your animal dance, hop, play, sleep, whatever you want it to do. Um, in the grass area and then it'll green screen it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and do the crop And we're just gonna crop this um, Make sure it's not cropped too much like this um, Well actually like this because the tail is gonna whack here and you don't want it to like Be cut so make sure it's not too cut like in between um, and then Go like this I'm gonna scale it up a little bit um, and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to get rid of the name tag because I don't really want the name tag here. And yeah, so then we're just going to go like that. It's very simple. Like I said, like if you have any questions, let me know in, in the comments because I can totally help you. Um, and yeah, so then you're going to go ahead and click remove a color and visual effects. Then you're going to go to the color of it and you're going to go ahead and click the eyedropper and you're going to click the background. Like that. So I'm going to scale this up again. Um, and as you can tell, it's kind of grainy on the side. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and bring this up. I'm going to bring it to about 18% is about what it should be. And yeah, so here you've got your green screen. So it's very simple. I'm going to size this up a bit because I like my wolf being a bit bigger. Um, you can make it any size you want to though. And yeah. And then you're going to go ahead and click color adjustment, which you guys don't have to do this. You can also do colorize and make your animal a different color like this kind of, which I actually kind of like, but I think it's not my favorite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do color adjustment. Then you're going to bring the saturation up all the way, and then you're going to bring the contrast down in the brightness and then kind of just do it wherever you think it needs to be for the brightness. And, um, yeah, so I like mine about here. And it just makes it a bit more vibrant. I know the sides don't look as good, but it really makes it look a lot nicer. So then what you're going to do is you can go online on Google or YouTube or something like that. And you can look up moving backgrounds. Or you can also just go to annotations and go ahead and go to the shapes here. And you can just drag, like, a rectangle. And also, oh, yeah, it does. So take the audio off this and also go to the sound drag this down to zero percent and also take the cursor out just so you don't have noise in the background so like i was saying go ahead and put the background behind your clip of the green screen 
and you're just going here going <sighs> I cannot talk today um, okay so you're gonna go ahead and stretch this out um, it's white right now but you can change the color um, so just change it to whatever color you want I'm gonna make mine probably about probably like this color so it matches my wolf and yeah so this is what you have to do um, and this is what it should look like so far it looks pretty nice um, and yeah so it's very simple like I said then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go to visual effects again and you're gonna go and do drop shadow so basically you can do a shadow um, you can also not blur it if you wanted it to be more like this and have it go like this so it looks more shadowy um, and you can also make the opacity go down and then it'll look like this which looks kind of nice or if you are me the person who is obsessed with the glow you can go ahead bring the opacity all the way up I'm gonna leave this here then you're gonna blur this okay and then I'm gonna do white because then it gives it a glow which I am obsessed with like I use this all the time for things when it comes to the glow so you can do this or you can do a shadow you can do any color you want um, yeah so just do that I think it looks great and yeah so then um, if you have Camtasia Studio 9 you will have behaviors here that will do different things um, so say you wanted to do a behavior here and it would look like this for the drifting and it would kind of shift up and down and it just kind of goes in like this which looks kind of nice um, I actually think I'm gonna keep mine like that but there's tons of different behaviors you can use so just kind of test all of them if you'd like to you also can kind of mess around with the settings if you didn't want it to drift um, and there's just there's tons of different things you can do with this um, but yeah so it should look like this so far um, or whatever way you want it to be so as you can tell right now even if you have a moving background that has more patterns and things like that it looks very empty so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on YouTube and you're gonna look up overlays for Animal Jam or just regular overlays and it'll come up with tons of overlays that you can just download and I'll show you the website that you can download them on so this is the website you can use to download um, you can't use do mp3 I don't think um, but you can do mp4 and all you do is you just put the YouTube link to whatever overlay thing you have and you just paste it there it's very simple and then you just convert it and download it to your um, computer so I already have some that I picked out I'm gonna go ahead and do the music notes overlay that I found um, and I'm gonna go ahead put it in the middle of this so it has a green screen so you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and you're gonna do remove the color bring the tolerance up go like this probably about there probably and I'm gonna go ahead and colorize it make it white so it's like it doesn't look weird so yeah so as you can tell it looks good then I'm gonna add a drop shadow because you guys know me I'm obsessed with my drop shadows um, and then you're just gonna blur it and it should look something like this I actually think I'm gonna do white because I think that looks the best and um, yeah so this is what it should look like so far and yeah so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to annotations you're gonna go to the um, what's this called call outs and then you're gonna go ahead and add this which is just a text and you're gonna go ahead and just click it like two times and then you're just gonna go through the text like I said before in my last tutorial you can look up tons of animal jam fonts and things like that and it'll come up and you can just download them on YouTube and yeah so I'm gonna do I I'm going to do taken by vultures because I really like this text I use it a ton and um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put Kaylee cool and then just size it up after you're done go like this and actually I think I might do a bigger text okay I'm just gonna do tiki land for now because this is the easiest one that a lot of people use so this is the animal jam font it's very simple you can just go ahead and put it in the middle here and I don't put it don't put it on top of your your wolf like this because obviously that's gonna look really weird put it at the bottom of your animal sorry I keep saying wolf um, but just put it at the bottom of your animal like this and it'll look a lot better 
So, um, actually, I'm going to bring this up, and what you're going to do now, if you want to, you don't have to, but I think this looks good. You can go ahead and take one of these, okay, take the block one, and um, what you're going to do is um, put this up here, and you're going to put this right here, and you're going to stretch this out so it's kind of out long, whoops, um, and kind of go like this. So a lot of people do these black bar kind of things, and I really like doing them too because I think it makes the intro kind of. And um, I'm going to bring this up here again. Um, yeah, so bring these up and um, make sure they're on top of all your clips. And then, um, whoops, again, um, go like that. And they may not be perfect, but it's fine. You'll, you'll survive. <laughs> um... But yeah, so as you can tell, it makes it look really good. Um, I think it does. I think it makes it look more intro-y. And yeah, so basically for your text, go ahead and do whatever color you want to do. Yeah, so I, I kind of like that. Um, so this is what your intro should look like so far. And um, let's get the text up a little bit. So this is what it looks like so far. It should look like this at, anyway. Um, and I'm going to make up my wolf a little bigger put it in the middle right there okay yeah so like I said it should look something like this you also can add behaviors to your text too if you wanted to you can go like this and make it like a reveal um, which kind of looks nice I think um, I used this before I don't use Camtasia Studio 9 for intros anymore because I've kind of upgraded I use After Effects now but this is very good for just if you're looking for something simple and yeah, so now what we're going to do, as you can tell, the intro is almost finished. Um, what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and look up online on YouTube or something like that and look up intro songs or anything like that and just download them to your computer. Um, use an MP3 converter. There's tons of them online. You can use just make sure that they're safe. And yeah, so go ahead and do that real quick. And yeah, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and get my music real quick. Alright, so I have my music, and I'm just going to kind of um, go through this real quick and find where I want it to be. Um, you usually want to do it kind of the end of the chorus. So I'm going to do mine about right where I clipped it at, um, and kind of do it like this. So it should kind of be like this, and also make sure your intro is not 15 seconds. It needs to be 15 seconds or shorter, because if you have it too long, people are going to get ticked off when they watch your video. So make sure it's not super, super long. So I have my music, and I think I'm going to add my confetti burst now to kind of make the sound kind of go with the um, thing that we're going on with here. Um, basically, just kind of add the little thing that you got here sorry I cannot talk today and I'm gonna remove the color and it should kind of look like this um, you can look up confetti burst and it should come up on YouTube and make the tolerance go down I'm gonna add a color okay yeah so do that and then also add a drop shadow make the opacity go up and m do the color that you have set on the confetti burst and um, yeah or you can do you know, white, as I would always do. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. Alright, so that's what it should look like so far. Um, I'm going to move the confetti burst a bit. So this is what it should look like so far. Um, like I said, this is very simple. Very simple, guys. It's not that hard at all, really. I don't think, at least. Um... So yeah, then you're going to go ahead and basically take the clip that you have of your text, copy it, and then you're going to paste it right here. And you're going to put enjoy, or you can put enjoy the video, it really depends on how much room you have for it. So I can put enjoy the video. Um, if you don't have enough room for it though, it's fine. So this is probably where it should end. So you're going to go ahead and take your music, clip it all the way to the end. And then make sure everything fades out right. So take your things here. 
make it go like that and also take this to make it go like this and this as well and um so you kind of want it to have like a fade in so i'm gonna do on these i'm gonna do a fade black and i'm gonna make it not super long because we don't want it to be too long of a fade so make it about I don't know 13 seconds probably all right so we need to add the fade through black on all of these now because you don't want it to you know look weird so it should look like this okay so yeah this is what it should look like um this is basically how to make a very simple intro. I might do a video on how to make a more advanced one if you guys wanted me to do, like maybe do the tile effect on Camtasia Studio and things like that. But this is basically how to make a very simple intro. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is pretty much all you have to do. And yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, let me know down in the description. Or not the description. What am I talking about? Lord. But um, let me know if you guys have any problems or questions in the comments down below, not the description. And yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also let me know what you think I should do for my next tutorial video. And yeah, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys, and God bless your day.